So we're going to construct a pair of mutually orthogonal Latin squares of order 3. So first things first, uh, order 3 means we are in GF2, which is essentially the alphabet 0, 1 and 2. With that said, uh, we have a couple of equations in order to help us construct these. The first being um, lambda i plus mu lambda j, and we're going to go ahead and set that equal to aij. Both i and j just run through 0, 1 and 2, because we've only got three numbers. And our second one we'll call bij, and again that's equal to lambda i plus nu lambda j. Okay, so if we have a look at these three, we have this being lambda 0, this being lambda 1, and this being lambda 2. If uh, we call that in that fashion, we can go ahead and say that lambda i is i, and lambda j is j. I hope that's obvious. Uh, so using this, I can simplify my two equations down to i plus mu j, and i plus mu j. Uh, we can go a little bit further. So in this case, we have mu being 1 and nu being 2. Two, so let's simplify that even further. So we've got i plus j and i plus 2j. If you are in higher orders, uh, this doesn't seem to work with 4. I uh, suspect it's got something to do with being a prime power, but it definitely works with order 5. And you can just keep using these, and you can have a set of mutually exclusive, mutually orthogonal Latin squares. Sorry. Uh, so let's uh, use our equations. So Firstly, we have our first Latin square we will call A. And for me, this gets a little bit confusing talking rows and columns. So I'm going to just do this, where this denotes I and this denotes J. So what this means, essentially, is any position in my Latin square A, given by the row I and the row J, is given by this column. So if I'm looking at 0 and 0, well in this case, I'm just going to sub 0 and 0 into there. 0 plus 0, nice and easy, 0. Let's keep going. 0 plus 1 is 1, and 0 plus 2 is 2. Okay, Our second row, in this case I will be 1. We'll cycle through the J's in the same way. So 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. And 1 plus 2 is 3, but remember we're working in order 3, and this is our alphabet. So 3 under modulo 3 to subtract, we get 0. So again, final row, 2 plus 0, 2. 2 plus 1 is 3, which is equivalent to 0. And 2 plus 2 is 4, which is equivalent to 1. So there's our first Latin square, uh, nice and simple. Our second Latin square we'll call B, and we're going to use this second equation now. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and set up the same little help. You don't have to do this, it's just easy for me. So we have 0 plus 2 lots of 0 for this first bit, obviously 0. 0 plus 2 lots of 1 is 2, and 0 plus 2 lots of 2 is 4, which again is equivalent to 1. Uh, 1 plus 2 lots of 0, 1 plus 2 lots of... Oh, sorry, that should be a 1. Uh, 1 plus 2 lots of 1 gives us 3, which is equivalent to 0. And 1 plus 2 lots of 2 gives us 5, equivalent to 2. Uh, 2 plus 0, ah, what am I doing? There's 2. 2 plus 2 lots of 1 is 4, which is equivalent to 1. And 2 plus 2 lots of 2 is 6, which is equivalent to 0. Okay, so there's our second Latin square. Uh, just to kind of show that they are mutually orthogonal, what we can do is we can kind of superimpose these on top of each other. Uh, so if I do that, I'm going to get two zeros, which I'll just call 0, 0. I'm going to get 1, 2. I'm going to get 2, 1. I'm going to get 1, 1, 2, 0, and 0, 2. Uh, I'm also then going to get 2, 2, 0, 1, and 1, 0. And you can go ahead and check that each pair of numbers there only appears once. Therefore, they are mutually orthogonal.